All right, I figured I would bring you guys on along with a quick little headshot shoot. This is actually a makeup shoot for a, uh, some headshots that I've done a couple weeks ago. I already sent it to them. They had some people that couldn't make it, but I'm running a little bit late um, and I need to get all my gear in my truck and head over there. It's about a 20 to 30 minute drive. But first, I gotta have a hat on. I always wear hats whenever I am able to. Let's go with a black, straight up black hat today. All right, this is the gear I've got to take into my truck. Never forget sandbags. It puts your gear at risk and the people you're shooting. Always bring sandbags. Let me talk really fast here um, as I'm driving. I think this is safe, right? Um, I wanted to talk about the gear that I'm bringing on this. So again, like I said, this is some headshots. Um, very simple for a company, uh, uh, for their website. I brought a little too much stuff last time. This time I knew kind of exactly what I needed to bring. So what I'm bringing with me is my Sony a7 R4. I'm vlogging on the a7S3 here. Um, I'm bringing the 24 to 70 G Master. I shoot these at like, I think I was shooting them at like 6.3, something like that, f-stop. And then I'm bringing my Godox 8400 Pro and my Westcott Rapid Box Octa M, which is the medium-sized Octa Box. It's been, it's become my favorite. If you've been checking out any of my recent videos, I've kind of been talking about it a lot because um, it just it, it, it's rapid box I mean it's per, it's perfect I got the Bowens adapter it's a uh, fantastic soft light and then I've got my uh, light stand heavy-duty light stand from strobe pro and then the other thing that I brought which I'm really glad I kind of brought it on a whim last time and I'm really glad I brought it and I'll bring it for all outdoor things from here on out is a scrim I, I got a 4 by 4 scrim what I'm using that for is blocking the sun because if you're trying to do photos outdoors, it doesn't matter how nice your flash is and my flash works fantastic outdoors, but the sun at some points of the day hits really harsh and I need something to block it. Having a scrim on uh, like a C-stand, nice and secure, sandbags, you're good to go and you get the exact photos you want. No one likes that nasty harsh light. Hi. Where are you headed to? I'm headed to do the photography for um, the marketing team. Okay. Need to do our little yep. paperwork here. So ready for COVID to be over. All right, we're here. All right, we made it. Time to get set up. All right, this is the spot that I set up for these headshots. All right, this is my Godox 8400 Pro. Slap a battery on there. Good to go. Always bring extra batteries. I only need two. Not just because they might die, but because what if they fail? I'm always thinking of worst case scenarios, like what's like, I wish I had another one of these, because what if this fails? But. I'm really learning a lot more about protecting these guys. Like whenever you have the, these little, these little plastic guards, because I had something move one of these connections and it doesn't really work properly anymore so now i always put these on there or at least put a piece of gaff tape over that to protect it i always format my cards whenever i'm starting a new shoot set every time before i do it before i press the button i'm always thinking did i back that up am i good but i happen to know that i've this is backed up in multiple places already face priority on human i love using continuous autofocus on these it keeps track of their eye Hello. Oh gosh, I can actually not have to wear a jacket. <laughs> All 
right, now I'm gonna put this scrim together. It's a four by four. Four by four is great, but it is gonna be a little small for some video production type stuff. It's gonna be a little small, so I would go four by six, maybe eight by eight if you can. That gets pretty big, but I'm pretty happy with this one for my first scrim. Ow. Yeah, I just pinched the crap out of my second hand. No blood. <laughs> really all I'm looking for this thing to do today, I have shot light through it and it becomes a nice large diffusion source. All I needed to do today is like I said earlier, block the sun. My transition. <laughs> yeah. I remember us talking about that. Yeah, so I kind of thought it was going to. Eddie, I'm, I'm sorry. A little bit. I know. Look, is I it the extra active so they take a little longer? Bring you a new one when we get in there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the fresh leaf. It's flowing. Yeah. 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 I'm pulling my equipment so it doesn't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's windy. Oh, it hard? Oh, no, no, it, 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 it's fine. I have sandbags on it, but whenever. Whenever it blows hard like that, I kind of get a little extra cautious. I don't blame you. Hey, if you can't stand and hold this one for me, let me uh, let me block the sun really quick. Where is it at? Cool. Look at her. <laughs> You're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. All right, let me just. Uh, you're my first one, so let me see how the light looks. Okay, on the first one. Yes. <laughs> let me see what my light. Do I look at you or look up there? You look at the camera. Okay. Okay, almost there. Yeah, this looks good. All right, you ready? Yes. Steelers. <laughs> like, Aww. Yeah, good. Chris is very photogenic. No. Yeah, no. We just check your eyes here. Make sure. Yep, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Okay. In focus. Anybody else? I was not expecting all of those people to come. <laughs> it's fine, because then I get to leave a little bit earlier and um, I don't have to be out here as long, but that's that's cool. Uh, they're all really nice people at this place. I like working with them. Saw how I used the, the scrim over there to block the sun, kept that, sh that harshness off of their face, off the side of their head. Um, let me show you what I got. See how good that comes out. So just a really nice, Nice soft light on them, not too crazy. I don't like I don't like strobe that comes across as like an obviously flashed photo. You might have seen some of those photos to where it's like a couple on the beach and it's dark and then it's just strut flash on them. I like it to look a little more real than that, but I'm remembering back to whenever I didn't have a good understanding of Hold for wind. I should have brought my wind muff on this mic, sorry. I remember, I'm remembering back to whenever I was uh, newer to photography and I was trying to understand flash and how to use flash and just everything about the camera and I never felt confident whenever I go on a shoot. But now whenever I go on a shoot, I just feel so much more confident. And the only way you can get there is to continue to um, put time in. Just keep, keep shooting. Keep shooting, keep editing. Uh, learn from your mistakes. Never stop learning. And uh, you finally get to a place where you feel pretty comfortable. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing as far as maybe the thought process behind a shoot like this, how did I get the shoot, how did I get this job, uh, the business side of things. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do on YouTube here. I, I definitely want to start investing more time and effort into YouTube, especially as 2021 comes around. And um, But I want, I want to make sure that my videos are hopefully at least somewhat entertaining, but they're more so informative and can help you make more money. As you see right now, I've got like over 10 grand worth of gear with me just to do this one little thing, including this Sony a7S III. And it's hard to spend money on this kind of stuff if you're not making money with this gear. Uh, so that's why like, I'm glad that my hobby. Hey.
keep coming and I uh, can't really predict when they're gonna arrive. I've only got like two more left, but I think what I was saying was, if any of you guys are a little curious about maybe how I get jobs like this, um, how can I afford all this equipment, A7III, A7R4, you know, the lenses and everything. It's cool to have a hobby to where my, it's not just a hobby, it's actually a business as well, but like whenever I buy a camera and I love the camera, just like some people maybe buy knives or stamps or whatever, um, this is actually gonna be making me money, but I also enjoy it at the same time. So why not invest in some gear that will bring you to a higher level of professionalism? Um, yes, you can do fantastic work with cheaper gear, Canon Rebels, whatever. A lot of it comes down to lighting and your know-how, but once you hit a certain level of know-how, you're gonna wanna have a gear that kind of matches that expertise a little bit, and I'm in no way bragging. Like, I, I look at this career as a forever learning career. Like, I never wanna stop learning. I never wanna think that I know everything. Um, I love learning more about this. I just think it's important that we never think that we know it all, never get to a place to where you get complacent and you get bored, like maybe you do headshots and you've mastered headshots and you know, yeah, you get kind of, your clients are like, okay, whatever, come in, let's do this. Um, and you're not really interested in really connecting with them and it doesn't drive any passion for you anymore. Um, so try something different. I've never done product photography before, really. So uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and see how I like it. I'm sorry that I tend to ramble a good bit on these YouTube videos, but um, I really care about this, this career and um, I'm very passionate about what I do and I like sharing information because everything I know about all this stuff I pretty much learned on YouTube. Uh, YouTube mixed with putting in the experience and the time. Um, so I really want to help any of you guys. Hopefully there are a lot of you guys that are out there trying to make money with your gear. And maybe, I mean, if it's just a hobby and it brings you joy, that's fantastic. Uh, maybe you've got money to burn but I think that it would be a good idea to try and make money with it if you can, why not? So if you guys have any questions about why I chose the gear that I have or any of that, let me know. I do have, I'm in the middle of an edit, I'm almost done, it's gonna be a super long video, but I go over all of the gear that I have. Every single piece of gear that I've bought, that I've researched, I put tons of time in researching and making sure it was the right thing for me to purchase because I want my money to go to the right places and not be wasted. And all of the gear is also for photography and videography, mostly, um, since I do both. A almost equal amount these days, it used to be a lot of video, it used to be a lot of photo, and now it's kind of like an equal amount but I try and get gear that works for both things. Just like that that uh, rapid box right there, I can throw that on my Aperture 120D, 300D, and it's a fantastic soft box for me, but it's also on my Godox flash right now. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. I don't want this video to be too long. I did record like 45 minutes of me taking photos earlier, so I don't know how much of that I might, I might fast forward some of that. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you finding me somehow. Maybe the uh, YouTube algorithm has blessed me in some way and uh, let you find my video, but if you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing if you got some value from this. I appreciate whatever uh, help that you can give. Have a great day. I have the A7R4. This camera just has such a good feel to it. Whenever I'm using it, it just feels like such a solid quality photo camera. If you've never held one, maybe go to Best Buy or something and, and hold one if they have it. Um,